And we begin with breaking news. Multiple people are dead after a horrific fire engulfed a high-rise apartment in New York City. We know that several children, nine, are among the lives lost. The fire started this morning in the Bronx. Firefighters trying to navigate that smoke cover that covered the entire height of the 19-story building. Authorities say crews found victims on every floor and dozens were sent to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Tonight, Governor Kathy Hochul addressed the destruction. We are indeed a city in shock. It's impossible to go into that room where scores of family who are in such grief, who are in pain, to see it in a mother's eyes as I held her, who lost her entire family. It's hard to fathom what they're going through. And News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin leads us off tonight from the Bronx. And Tom, are officials expecting this death toll to climb? It is already horrific. You know, they are not denying that possibility right now, Ruta Bay. A very active scene still, fully eight hours after that initial call came in. Those first responding firefighters telling us, as you just mentioned, that they encountered something inside. They very rarely see thick, acrid, deadly smoke that ran the entire height of a 19 story, 120 unit building. Building among the worst, the most deadly fires in New York City history. They updated us tonight on that staggering death toll. Video shot by witnesses shows the massive emergency response. Approximately 200 firefighters, the first on scene within three minutes. Members found victims on every floor in stairways and were taking them out in cardiac and respiratory arrest. This is a horrific, horrific, painful moment for the city of New York. Some survivors were pulled out through windows, smoke billowing through. The FDNY says this started in a duplex apartment spanning the second and third floors of the 19-story building. I was born in this building, yeah. so to see it like this, all of the victims suffered smoke inhalation. Of the 63 injured, more than 30 are considered life-threatening. And tonight, there are patients at every hospital in the Bronx. I'm looking for some of my cousins. Um, two of them. They're at the hospitals. I don't know which hospital. I'm praying that they're okay. Once the fire department got there and they was able to get us out, they said, follow the stairs until you see light. Agencies like the Salvation Army and Red Cross being brought in to help. We want to assure everyone that we will not leave you. This is devastating for all of us. To find something comparable in New York, you'd have to go back more than 30 years. Tonight, a jam-packed social club. The Happy Land nightclub fire in 1990, also in the Bronx, 87 people lost their lives. This is going to be one of the worst fires that we have witnessed during modern times. And the fire marshal's office tonight, Ruta Bay, saying that it was a space heater they believe that caused this. They're still looking into all the circumstances around this, but they do say something else at the apartment where this originated. The door was left open, allowing the smoke to fill the building, the smoke that took so many lives. We've now learned this, of course, the same week that a deadly fire took 12 lives in Philadelphia, including those of eight children. It is just so tragic, and we heard from city officials that a lot of these people were immigrants who came here for a better life. Tom, the city says uh, it's there for these people. What is the city doing to help them? Yeah, it's a very diverse neighborhood, that's for sure, and people here really taken aback by all of this, trying to find their friends and neighbors and relatives and loved ones, even at this late hour, Ruta Bay. A nearby high school has been made available for all the people who've been displaced. The Salvation Army's here, the Red Cross is here, and the city of New York says every possible city agency's efforts will be brought to bear to help all the people affected by this. Tom, great reporting. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.